three wine tasting? No, I will not need this. I have to prepare for this marathon. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready for you guys. Madman, for a madman. Yeah. Hello, my followers to the world of Somali. This is your guide, like always, Core Breaker. Tonight, I will take you to the Hungary. Yes, Hungary is not just Tokai and uh, Gulash. It has much more to offer. Tonight's region is called Shomloy and is located in the northwest, about half an hour drive from the famous Balaton Lake. It belongs to the volcanic group mines together with Mount Etna, Santorini and Canary Islands. Because it's situated around 432 meter high Shomloy Hill, which was a volcano under the Pannonian Sea million years ago. It is the smallest wine region in Hungary, which kind of reminds me of uh, Hermitage because of the similar approach, but it is more than three times bigger with 485 hectares. But surprisingly, it has as much information, articles and videos as Hermitage. Main grapes growing in basalt covered with clay, sand and gravel vineyards are uh, Olash Riesling, more known uh, Welsh Riesling, Fumint, Hash Levelu and its native Ufark, which literally means sheep still because of the shape of its clusters. <laughs> You may think, uh, I tried volcanic wines from Mount Etna and I love that minerality, but why I never tried uh, any of these wines from the Shomloy? Well, because of 1945 land reform. Hundreds of thousands of working class families obtained small vineyards across all of the Hungary using the massive lands confiscated from aristocracy and the church. And now, we have 1,204 individual wine producers who are mostly making wine as a hobby and only 42 are registered to sell the bottles. From those 42, only a dozen make enough wine to sell it elsewhere in the country and from those dozen, only few of them are able to share their wines with the world. Before getting to the wines, one interesting fact. The legend says that if newlyweds will consume a bottle of Shomloy Yufark wine, they will be graced with a son. That's why it is also called wedding night wine. Let's make a baby. Okay, so I have three wines. First one is Formint 2018 by Apatsagi Pints. The name of the winery comes from the abbey and monks established the vineyard to satisfy their needs. Now it is four hectares winery, cultivating local grapes with organical methods. Second is Harsh Levelu 2018 by Shomloy Wando. Established by Kish Tamas, he fell in love with the place after visiting it when uh, he was studying winemaking. He bought a small parcel and was traveling once or twice a month from the Eger where he was working as a winemaker from what also comes Wandor name, which means wanderer. But in 2014, the need to own his winery pushed him to establish his business. And now he owns eight hectares of organic vineyards on different slopes of the mountain. And last one is Ufark 2019 by Tom Shani Winery. 2.5 hectares winery is owned by Arpad Tom Shani and his wife, Nora. This is the smallest of these three, but together it is the most natural. From the start, they were applying organic and biodynamic philosophies and learning after every vintage, they are turning to the natural winemaking and now they are becoming one of the leaders in this category. Let's taste them. So for mint uh, has medium intensity lemon color on the, in the nose beeswax, lemon, peach, white flowers, vanilla. Mouth is attacked by high steel acidity, dry, medium alcohol on the palate, freshly baked apple pie. Next is Harsh Levelu. It has medium minus intensity, but still lemon color. In the nose, medium intensity aromas of dried apple, dried apricots, honey wrapped into sea breeze. High acidity, bone dry, medium minus alcohol. On the palate, 
unripe kids with a feeling of burning hay somewhere nearby. That's supposed to be helpful at heart. Yes! Oh! Ah! And you far has medium plus intensity cloudy lemon color in the nose. Medium plus intensity aromas of apple cider, smoke, chamomile, and sour cream. In the mouth, tongue tingling, medium plus acidity, bone dry with medium alcohol. On the palate, cup of mountain chrysanthemum tea with meringue and apples. Okay, so if you are still wondering how wine with high acidity tastes like, you should try one of these. Such a discovery and such challenging tastes. I can honestly say that uh, I was struggling uh, to name uh, all of the aromas that I smelled and tasted. These wines are definitely not your textbook um, Sauvignon Blanc from uh, New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, please let me know in the comments if you tried Chamloy wines. Uh, like always, don't forget to push the like button, subscribe and follow on Instagram. Cheers, guys.